Welcome back to Brewmatures, where our goal is to try every beer from around the world. And today we're reviewing Fugitive Fleet from Bottle Logic Brewing. All right, using the Brewmatures inside out method, let's take a look at the can. And I enjoy doing this because the can art is what's gonna catch your eye when you're at the bottle shop trying to decide what in the heck you're gonna buy. So on here we have Fugitive Fleet, Hazy IPA, 8% alcohol, a little high for a single, but I'm not gonna complain here. Bottle Logic, the art is great. Uh, these remind me of X-Wings on an old Star Wars poster. And I'm not sure if I can find a picture of it. If I can, we'll post it. If not, that's okay too. But that's what this reminds me of. I wore a Star Wars shirt in preparation for this. It's got the Jedi code on it on the back. I also have one for the Sith and Grey Jedi for those of you Legends fans out there. Um, but yeah, this uh, the can art gets an A plus for me. It's elegant, it's sleek, but enough talking about it. Let's get to drinking it. Alrighty, let's get to pouring this guy. Good pop. Not that that means much, but let's see the pour. Agitated a little bit there. No, we're right. The carbonation is coming right up to the top. Ah, pinky's worth, depending on which way you measure it. Great color. Creamy peach is what it reminds me of. Let's go to the nose. Speaking of peaches, there's a strong stone fruit on the nose, and they didn't add any uh, peach puree, so that's a good sign. Yeah, strong stone fruit is all I'm really getting on this. Let's see what the palate has. Mmm. Okay, that peach stone fruit note really hits home first and it's sweet and it's delicious and it's this is a juicy hazy IPA. Second taste, now I'm gonna pull out a little bit more of that hoppiness, a little bitterness, but it's more so sweet up front. Really, really good hazy IPA. Not much more I can say about it. It's a little bit of a one or two trick pony here. Uh, creamy stone fruit up front, followed into just a tad, tad, the slightest bit of bitterness. I'm gonna drink this some more, and then we'll come back for my final thoughts. Final thoughts? You know, usually I go to Green Cheek for my hazies and Bottle Logic for my stouts. That's just how it goes. But this is up there with some of the Green Cheek hazies I've had. Not quite as good, but they're getting there. If they stay on this track, and don't veer off into some marshmallow territory, they'll be just fine. That being said, I'm gonna give this a 4.5 on Untapped. Well, that's all for today's beer review. Please like, share this video with your friends. Let us know in the comments down below what beers you'd like to see us try in the future. And until next time, we're the Brewmatures, trying every beer from around the world, one sip at a time.